All right. So in our previous video, we talked about uh, indices and we saw the rules of indices about eight, nine set of rules with, without any specific order that would help us navigate in the operations of uh, indices. That's numbers with powers, which are, we also said are called exponents or index. Now, there's one of the rules we saw under indices, the rules of indices, where we said that um, if you have a raised to power m equal to a raised to power n, that this implies that what? If the bases are the same, then the powers are also what? The same. Now, this singular rule is going to help us in solving problems on initial equations or exponential equations very well and all other rules of indices not just only this all other rules of indices we are going to apply them in solving problems in initial equation and here we have a few problems that we're going to look at as examples that we are going to consider now there are different kinds of initial e equations that you're going to see let's see some examples solve the following initial equations uh, so what do we do here now? Okay, so when you have an equation of this form, now your interest is always look at something, uh, this particular rule here. So your interest is to see, is there a way I can write the both sides of this equation to be in index form where the denominator, sorry, where the basis will be the same. So let's look at this. So this is the same as 4 raised to power x. First of all, this is a decimal number. The first thing that one should think about is to change it into what? Into a fraction. And can we do that? If we do that, we're going to have 6 to 5 all over 1, about 4 zeros. So we have 4 zeros here because this is 4 decimal places. And then we try to reduce this into its simplest form. All right, so if you reduce this to the simplest form, you are going to get 1 all over 16. And so 4 raised to the power x is equal to 1 over 16. Now, at this point, I can change 16 to be in base 4. And someone can decide to take everything to base 2. But since 16 can go to base 4, why not? That means I can say that 4 raised to the power x is the same as 1 all over 4 raised to the power 2. And this is the same as by rule of indices, I know that this is going to give me 4 raised to the power minus 2, since I have the reciprocal of it. And so since the bases are the same, I can simply take them out. And so my x is equal to what? The negative of. Second example, we have 2x, 2 raised to the power x is equal to 256. And we're asked to solve. Remember I said to solve an equation, you are interested in getting the value of the unknown. And so this is uh, going to give us, so my interest is, can I put this in index form where the base will be 2? And of course, yes, I know 2 raised to the power 8 is going to give me 256. And since the bases are the same, just take them away. My x is simply equal to what? 8. So we go to the next example. Okay, so this one says, if the, if the cube root of 4y, 4 raised to power 2y is equal to 8, we should find the value of y. So what can we do here? First of all, we know that when you have a root, that you can bring it up as a power, and uh, that's going to give us 4 raised to the power 2y, or raised to the power cube root to give us 1 over 3, and this is the same thing as uh, equal to 8. And if I open up this bracket, power, power rule, this will multiply the power here, and so that's going to give me 4 raised to the power 2y all over 3. And that is going... Now, what am I going to do in this case here? So what we are going to do here is uh, to try to reduce everything here to base 2. If we reduce everything to base 2, we are going to have that this is going to give us 2 raised to power 2. And remember, there's already an existing power here, which is 2y over 3. And that is equal to 8 is the same thing as 2 raised to power 3. And now I have satisfied this condition here. So I can take away the equal basis. And this is going to give me, open up this bracket, you have 4y all over 3 is equal to 3. And remember, this 3 is 3 over 1. So I can actually cross multiply. And when you do that, you get that 4y is equal to 9. Therefore, your y alone is 9 all over 4. And that is the required uh, solution. Okay, so the next example, 
Let's look at example four now. All right, so the next example, just like the, the third one, says if h raised to the power one minus two x is equal to one all over four raised to the power x, then what is the value of x? That is to say, what value of x are we going to put here and here and the both sides will be equal? That's actually what we're doing in the solving of these equations. Okay, so what do we do? Always remember that your basic need is to see that you will put this side in index form and put this side in index form and both sides will have the same base so that you can take the base away, the basis away, and then you equate the powers. Okay, so now this is 8 and I can take 8 to base 2 because I can't take it to base 4. So that is directly, but I can take it to base 2 and I can take this side to base 2 also. So what do I do? My 8 to base 2 is going to give me 2 raised to power 3. But this 3 is going to multiply the existing power. And that's going to give me 1 times 1 minus 2x is equal to. This side is going to be 1 all over 2 raised to power 2 times the existing power, which is what? x. And that is going to give us, if I open the bracket up here, I will have 3 minus 6x. And that's going to be equal to, if you apply the the negative index rule here, this is going to give you 2 raised to the power minus 2. And when you take away the equal basis, you are going to have that 3 minus 6x is equal to minus 2x. And when you solve for x, you can take 6x minus 6x to this side. That will give us minus 2x plus 6x, which is equal to 3. Our 3 is equal to 4x. Therefore, dividing both sides by 4, you will get that our x is equal to 3 all over 4. Okay, all right. So having seen some examples of this form, now can we see an example of a, an initial equation that looks like this? And if you have, here it says, given that 2 raised to the power 2x minus 5 into 2 raised to the power x plus 4 is equal to 0, what is the value of x? So what do you do? Whenever you have a problem that looks like this, it is almost... Uh, the most likely thing is that you are going to get to a quadratic equation. So what am I going to do? I am going to look at this particular factor, this particular term that is inside this bracket. And I'll try to see, is it possible to get the same term from here? Look at this one. This one is always separate on its own. But see this person in this bracket. Can I get something that looks like that here? And yes, of course I can. Uh, you can see that this is the same thing as 2 raised to power x all squared. Why? Because power, power rule, if I open up this bracket again, I'll still get 2 times x, and that will give me back my 2x. So, and this is minus this into this plus 4 equal to 0. Now, I have gotten the same fact, the same term that is in the bracket here in a bracket. So, I can substitute it, and that's how you can solve. So, you can say, let that 2 raised to the power x be any variable. And if I do, maybe I can call it a p. And if I do that, I'm going to have p squared, if I substitute it here, minus 5. If I put it here, I will have p plus 4 equal to 0. So all I will need to do now is to solve this equation, get the value of p, and then substitute it. I can call this guy star. Bring it back into this equation star to get my x. Because the question actually asks me to find x. But for me to find x, I need to do this substitution, solve for p, and then use the p to get my x. And so what do I do here? I will solve this quadratically. Now, of course, we have a quadratic equation here. And to solve this, we can do a factorization. To do a factorization, I can multi I'll multiply these two, and that will give me 4p squared. So I'm looking for the two factors of this. In fact, let's just use their coefficient. Use the coefficient of p here, which is 1, multiplied by c, which is just 4. So we're looking for the factors of 4 that you sum to get minus 5, you multiply to get 4. And that is going to give us minus 4 and what? Minus 1. So when you have gotten that, just bring it here and then open your two brackets and put your P. And then attach these two here. So you have minus 4, minus 1, all equal to 0. And so that is going to give us P minus 4 is equal to 0 or P minus 1 is 0. And so that will give me that P is equal to 4 or P is equal to 1. Now, now that I have the values of P, I can use it to get the value of what? X by substituting into this equation. And if I do that, I have two values of P. That means I should expect two values for what? X. So I will start for P equal to 4 
So it means that 2 raised to the power x is equal to 4. And by putting this in index form, I'm going to have 2 raised to the power 2. And equal basis will go. Therefore, at that point, my x is equal to 2. What about when p is equal to 1? So if my p is 1, therefore 2 raised to the power x is 1. I'll try to put 1 in index form where the base will be 2. And that is going to give me 2 raised to the power x is equal to 2 raised to the power 0. You can think about that. Because any number raised to the power 0 is equal to what? 1. So when I take away the equal basis, my x here will be what? 0. Hence, my x value that will satisfy this equation is x equal to 0 and x equal to what? 2. And so, and that is the solution to this problem. Now, this is going to be where we'll end for this class. Now, but before we go, I'm going to drop an exercise which you are going to look at. And when you are done with it, also please let me see your solution in the comment section below. Comment your solution and I want to see it. All right. Okay, so we have two problems here. I would want you to look at the two of them. If uh, 3 into 2 raised to the power x plus 3 minus 5 into bracket 2 raised to the power x plus 3 minus 156 is equal to 0, what would be the value of x that will satisfy that? And also do that for the second one. Find the value of x. Comment your answers to these problems in the comment section below. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel and uh, use the like button. Make comments. Uh, we would really appreciate all of that. Thank you for watching. See you in our next video. Bye.